association with Montgomery County, uh, but still a very good football team. No doubt. Those guys are physical. They're really fast. They play a really physical style of football from the spread. Uh, just, a, just a really good football team. They got a chance to make some noise in the field, so. Absolutely. They're a team that, that we saw that spread you out and and then they run the football. They kind of gas you, get you on an island, and they did a good job of that tonight. Yeah, they did. They, they ran downhill with the quarterback, inside zone, split zone stuff. It looked like a, what Mississippi State used to do with Dak Prescott's zone. It's kind of what it looked like from where I stand. And they didn't show a whole lot of that, you know, in, in the previous film. So they did a really good job tonight preparing for us and, 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 and hit us in some spots there that on the defensive line that we were a little weak. Offensively, your Chargers had a hard time tonight. Uh, unable to, to get in the end zone, just uh, uh, just ran against a very good defensive team also. Yeah, we had a couple opportunities to score. We just didn't take advantage of them. You know, we had a short field there early in the first quarter and had the ball on the 11-yard line, first and 10, and you know, turned the ball over and then had it in the third quarter, I think, there again, down pretty close. And maybe it was early fourth quarter and, and, and didn't get anything out of it. So just disappointing uh, you know, from that respect. We got, we got a lot of work to do, man. We've played a lot of dudes. And, it's time now. We've, we've got eight quarter, ten quarters of film uh, to look at and try to evaluate and really figure out who needs to be on the field when. You know, I'm a guy that likes to play a lot of guys early and, and rotate a bunch of guys, but now we're getting closer to a division. You know, we've got four games left before that starts. We've got to, we're going to do a really good job of evaluating and figuring out who needs to be where in the next place. Saw uh, Quez McNeil on special teams uh, taking the opening kickoff back to the house. You got to be quite proud of that. Yeah, Quez is a kid, man, that, that I got to get the ball to more and just trying to feel our way through that. You know, worked him at running back some, but I think he's going to be a receiver for us and we're going to start getting more reps over there. Obviously, he's a really good corner for us and does a great job on defense, but he's a guy that can score too. So, you know, like I was saying earlier, he's one of those guys we're trying to find pieces of this puzzle that make us really explosive offensively. And you take him and Akeem and, and guys like Andrew Johnson to run, you know, we got to, receiver wise, we got to start figuring out a way to get those guys the ball in space a little bit. All right, Coach. Next week, though, you, you get to come back home to Dale Davidson Field. You got Choctaw Central coming in on Thursday night. Right, yeah, that's going to be a big game. I mean, we got to. We got to bounce back, you know. We got to find a way to put it together and piece it together, and have a great week of practice, and, and come back and play a great football game on Thursday night. Uh, you know, so it'll be a challenge for sure. I mean, how, how you handle adversity is the same way you handle success. You just got to keep working. And it's a long season. We got a long way to go. We play uh, district football, you know, four weeks from the night, so we got a long way to go. But uh, you know, it's just going to take a lot of work. We'll get there. All right, we look forward to seeing everyone at Dale Davidson Field next Thursday night against uh, Choctaw Central comes to town against the Chargers. So we'll see everybody next week.